You said you guys had a pretty good time watching that USC Utah game. What was that? Uh, what was that like for you? Oh uh, man, I was uh, I was the biggest uh, Utah fan uh, ever <laughs> watching that game. But it was it was it was good to see that game. Um, it's it's sad that it came down to that, you know, having to watch that game to see if you get in or not. But um, yeah, I mean, happy that it turned out that way. Do you guys feel like you have a connection with Utah, playing them and then rooting for them? Like you guys have kind of yeah. intertwined now. Do you feel like right? That? Yeah, it's kind of crazy because I mean, since from last year, it's like we, we never we never ran into Utah ever, you know. And <laughs> these past two years, they've been really uh, and we've seen them a lot. Yeah. Tommy, you're one of the toughest guys out there. How do you rank Cameron Rising in terms of his toughness? Yeah, he's tough. That's a tough guy too. He's uh, but he's he's really good. Um, just running the ball and throwing. I mean, he's a great, great leader as well, too. He, he's good. As somebody who's known for the amount of emotion that he shows and uh, being a very eccentric and out, outgoing guy, sarcastic there, mm, oh, yeah. uh, what was going through your head when you were watching the, the Utah-USC game and, and it slowly realized closer and closer, of course, there's the decision still had to be made, but uh -huh. it looked more and more like you guys were going to secure that fourth spot. Yeah, it was, um, you know, I, it, was, it was nice seeing that. Um, you know, I was really excited. But, um, you know, when they were revealing, it was like they did the three and we're like, man, are we going to get in or not? You know, so it was, you kind of got nervous, but yeah, I was excited. Are you a Utah fan now? Uh, yeah, yeah, big Utah fan. I mean, I'll be shocked if you answer this. Shocked, I don't know if you've been asked before. Do you have any thoughts about the Uh, yeah, it's, um, I was going to, I got to, I'm just, I haven't thought about it, so, uh, just gonna play these two games and figure it out after. Yeah. Tommy, I don't know if you were asked, but Stetson Bennett, his mobility, uh, what can he do off schedule just to make plays? Uh, yeah, you see, you can extend plays, uh, <clears throat> scramble, scramble throw, scramble run. Um, all around can extend plays, and that makes a quarterback pretty dangerous. You think him being a, a pretty old quarterback by college standards, do you think that gives him a little bit more? of an advantage in the experience department that you guys have to try to balance out? Um, yeah, I'd say, uh, I'd say so. Just experience helps a lot. Uh, but at, at some point, it's like once everyone's experienced, I think it kind of equals out a little bit. Uh, but I think that definitely uh, helps him. What did you personally take from your performance in, in Michigan and want to at the very least improve i won't say like fix because mm -hmm. there's certain degrees to this but what do you want to change from how the world saw you in that michigan game uh, i just got to play better uh, uh, all around uh, run pass um, just got to play better and do my job more efficiently do you kind of relish these opportunities to get to play not only sec schools which the world knows mm -hmm. is, is a big football conference but also teams that are high powered on offense almost balancing what you guys have here in that sense yeah I, it's definitely uh it's exciting playing teams like that just because uh uh you know different conferences it's nice playing teams like that but uh you know it, teams that everyone looks at as being you know like the greatest team mm -hmm. so it's it's a uh, it's really exciting Tommy, thank you. Thanks.